Brittany Davenport spent most of 2012 as a patient at the University of Maryland Medical Center. Thanks to a supportive family and a medical team that wouldn't give up, she's back to being a normal mom. In February, she gave birth to her second daughter at another hospital. But six weeks later, she came to the medical center's emergency department gasping for air. The diagnosis? A life-threatening lung condition called acute respiratory distress syndrome, a possible complication from an infection. She couldn't get enough oxygen. Fortunately for Brittany, the medical center has a team of cardiothoracic surgeons and pulmonologists who specialize in advanced lung failure. They sprang into action with immediate intensive care. First, they tried an external breathing machine called ECMO. Doctors hoped the machine would rest her lungs long enough to heal. It kept her alive, but her lungs did not improve. Her only hope now, a double lung transplant. Brittany's care team worked to get her strong enough to be eligible for the transplant. Then, one night in August, the call came. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and my father came in the room, and he told me, he said, baby, they got you some lungs, and I saw they crying. I remember that night. Everybody came up there. I said, I swear, it was like everybody was there. Everybody was there. I was so happy. It took Brittany several months to recover from her transplant. These days, she's back to where she wants to be, enjoying life. Bill Seiler for the University of Maryland Medical Center.